In the opening scenes of the film Rebirth of Earth, we witness a distressing moment as a young girl pleads for help in the midst of chaos. Surrounding her a frantic crowd scrambles to escape collapsing buildings seemingly crushed by menacing branches. The screen fades to black and a somber narrator describes the dire state of the planet. They emphasize that no one could have fathomed such a catastrophic event in their wildest dreams. In the backdrop nature has overtaken the once thriving cities rendering them desolate. It appears that humanity's survival is in grave doubt with abandoned decaying structures defining the new landscape. The voiceover explains that two years ago an unprecedented disaster occurred. Seemingly out of nowhere the very plants that sustained human life turned against them, launching a relentless campaign to seize control of the planet. Their invasive branches swiftly devoured one city after another decimating most of the global population within a week. In just one year a staggering 80% of the world had succumbed to the relentless advance of these botanical assailants. Fast forward to the present and we meet Yang Hao and his daughter Yu and the unfortunate souls who missed the last evacuation during the initial onslaught. Stranded in the deserted city they navigate a perilous existence. While Yu and becomes entranced by a playful puppy in the forest her father Yang irate with her recklessness, scolds her for straying from their designated safe zone. Undeterred Yuan pursues the pup further heedless of her father's warnings. Yang increasingly anxious urges her to return emphasizing the dangers lurking in the woods, especially at night when the deadly plants become active. As the sun threatens to set signifying the imminent emergence of the predatory plant life, Yang delves deeper into the forest, discovering his daughter in the shadow of a colossal tree-like entity. Its branches dangle lifeless human bodies caught in their macabre grasp. Eerily these branches display signs of movement suggesting a sinister purpose. One branch abruptly lunges toward them forcing Yang and Yuan into a frantic retreat. Pursued by additional predatory branches, they barely escape the perilous woods reaching a zone still bathed in sunlight. The plants weakened by the sun's rays withdraw into the forest. Finally safe Yang ushers Yuan home securing the doors placing a tracking device on her wrist, and embarking on a futile attempt to contact other survivors via radio signals. With no response from his distress calls Yang eventually succumbs to slumber, haunted by memories of the initial plant attack. He recalls his wife Yan a scientist specializing in environmental science and plant biology, who sought to develop a revolutionary plant-enhancing drug to combat deforestation. Tragically this well-intentioned endeavor unleashed unintended consequences instigating an unprecedented catastrophe. The drug accelerated plant cell replication while inadvertently awakening the plant's stress mechanisms endowing them with emotions anger and a newfound capacity for malevolence. The day the plants first rebelled unfolded like any other with Yang Yuan, and Yan trapped in traffic. A frantic call from Yan's colleague warning of the drug's malfunction was drowned out by the onset of seismic tremors and deafening crashes. As they watched in horror, massive branches emerged from the ground heralding the calamity that would reshape the world. Returning to the present Yang awakens to the sound of encroaching branches. To his horror he discovers Yuan's bed being overtaken by these sinister plants. They've trailed them from below and within moments the branches seize Yuan bed and all, and drag her into the ground. Desperate to rescue his daughter Yang races to her aid but she vanishes within seconds. Fearing the worst he consults her watch tracking her location. This leads him to an abandoned building where he discovers her watch. Hearing her cries for help he ventures deeper into the dark discovering her huddled in a corner, warding off the encroaching plant with an ultraviolet torch. The light keeps the plant at bay but as its battery dwindles the situation grows dire. Yang throws his torch to her just as the light fades momentarily repelling the plant. However the menacing branches renew their assault and Yang locates a fire extinguisher to breach the building's walls. Sunlight floods in compelling the branches to retreat. Yang falls to the ground reminiscing about the final moments with his wife Yan. In the early hours of the plant invasion Yan led her family to her research lab where she disclosed that only ultraviolet rays could subdue the plants. Alas the rapid growth of the malevolent flora amplified by her drug rendered the situation dire. They witnessed Yan's valiant struggle to contain the menace before she too succumbed to the plant's relentless aggression. 
Returning to reality Yang is seized by encroaching branches, with Yuan doing her best to help. Suddenly a mysterious soldier named Limo appears, embarking on a fierce battle against the plants. More soldiers join the fray heroically engaging the botanical threat to rescue Yang and Yuan. In a moment of desperation Yang helps a confused soldier activate an ultraviolet ray emitting device which banishes the plants from their vicinity. After the tumultuous battle the leader contacts their commander, identifying Yang and Yuan as stranded survivors. Yang shares their harrowing journey and is introduced to a crucial device known as the N2 Agentia. This device devised by the international collective known as the Joint Forces is humanity's last hope for survival. Central academies of science have predicted that the plants are evolving, and in just two days a second wave of even more destructive plants will assail different regions. If these botanical horrors aren't stopped the devastation will escalate. Amid this discussion a distressing signal reveals an underground threat approaching at high speed. Panic ensues as the ground ruptures pulling the UV ray emitting device into its depths, and the leader Yuan Yang and Limo are plunged underground. Confronted by the relentless branches they manage to fend off the danger but the leader sustains severe injuries. As the group rushes to aid him a colossal and menacing branch draws near. It senses people through sound compelling everyone to remain silent. Nonetheless it inches closer to Yuan causing her to crash into a nearby shelf and trigger a loud noise. The branch advances menacingly and Yang intervenes to save his daughter. Despite his efforts the plant continues to close in nearly taking them all. In a selfless act the leader opens fire drawing the branch's attention and ultimately sacrificing himself to save the group. Following the explosion the remaining trio safely exits the underground reuniting with their comrades. Before resuming their mission one of the soldiers invites Yang to join them recognizing his technical expertise. Yang declines but is interrupted by Yuan who ardently expresses her desire to help save the world alongside her father and the soldiers. Her plea persuades Yang to contribute to the mission and they rejoin the group. The collective endeavors to reach the launch station where the Agentia device can be activated to destroy the plants. Along the way a soldier receives a radio signal warning of the imminent arrival of the second wave of plants. Unexpectedly the ground trembles and a nearby building begins to collapse. The group races to escape the impending danger. Yang is bewildered as the second wave was expected in two days, but another soldier clarifies that waves can strike early and simultaneously across the globe. They hastily board a bus as the plants emerge from the ground. Unfortunately the last soldier carrying the device is ensnared by the relentless branches. In a final act of heroism he tosses the device to his comrades before succumbing to the plants. The group flees but is relentlessly pursued leading to a disastrous cliff fall and their bus crashes into a building. Fortunately they escape the wreckage and the area falls eerily silent as the menacing branches retreat. A soldier named Lee reveals that this respite is due to a smaller wave of attack. As they attempt to contact their commander the signal is lost leaving them stranded. Yang spots a signal tower in the building across from them and proposes a dangerous journey to access it. The sole challenge is a rusty bridge that could collapse at any moment. Gathering their courage they venture forward but encounter a terrifying obstacle when a nearby building begins to fall. Despite the peril they miraculously evade disaster. Unfortunately the commotion causes Yuan to slip from the bridge but Li manages to save her by grasping a rope. Yang hoists the rope determined to save both Yuan and Li. Tragically the rope begins to give way due to the weight and Li makes a heart-wrenching decision to release it, sacrificing himself with a smile to ensure the safety of the little girl. The remaining group reaches the other building gaining access to the radio signals. They reconnect with the commander, who delivers a sobering message that the second wave will arrive sooner than anticipated, and there is little time to complete their mission. Furthermore the plant roots are fortified by protective branches making it nearly impossible to install the device. In a desperate directive the commander orders the soldiers to abandon their mission and return home. Yang seizes the opportunity to address the commander, imploring him not to squander their sacrifices and to persevere with the mission. 
His impassioned plea resonates with people worldwide who are listening to the broadcast. Ultimately the commander grants them permission to continue their mission. The group proceeds to the launch tower activating the system to deliver the device to the plant's route. However the device becomes ensnared by the protective branches, and other international teams face similar setbacks. Hope dwindles. Suddenly a noise from the nearby volcano reverberates through the tower, revealing its geothermal energy source. Yang formulates a plan to disrupt the underground maintenance system controlling the lava flow, causing it to spill onto the protective branches. This enables the Agentia device to reactivate. Yang Limo, and a soldier named Guy embark on a perilous journey to the underground maintenance system facing relentless attacks from the branches. Yang sustains severe injuries and Guy sacrifices himself to protect the mission. Yang and Limo survive and she leads him to a door where he dupes her to keep her safe outside. It's evident that Yang intends to sacrifice himself for the greater good. Inside the maintenance room Yang uses a CCTV camera to bid his final farewell to Yuan. He triggers the explosive sealing his fate and destroying the maintenance room. As the lava descends onto the protective branches the Agentia device reactivates and journeys to the root. The entire plant system crumbles restoring the Earth to its original state. The film concludes with Yuan, Limo, and the group surveying the rejuvenated city. Yuan reflects on the hubris of humanity, warning that they should never underestimate the power of nature capable of both creation and destruction.